how long do people you expect people are going to need to hunker down to wait for this to pass because it very matters very much how long that period of time lasts until we can kind of gauge what kind of economic shock this is going to ultimately uh, constitute. Well, I mean, I don't have a crystal ball any more than you do, but I think a couple things I would say is what we're really trying to do is slow the spread of the infection. And once you have, once you get to the point of community spread throughout the country, then some of these measures may not really be helpful anymore because the cat's out of the bag fully, so to speak. Um, so at that point, you may really just focus on, say, nursing homes and the elderly and doing what you can to prevent their exposure because they're at highest risk. But you know, if it's everywhere, does it make sense to have people working from home? Maybe, maybe not anymore. So it's really trying to buy us some time right now um, that we may be making some of these recommendations because if you if you have the, these big spikes in cases at hospitals, that will cause a problem. It will make working conditions unsafe for nurses and doctors. It'll lead to delays in healthcare. You know, if you come in with a stroke and the emergency room is flooded with patients, you're not gonna get attention for that stroke as quickly as under normal circumstances. So what we want is to try to at least smooth out how these cases develop over time and buy ourselves some time, be a little bit more prepared. Um, you know, but I, I think inevitably this probably will spread through much of the population over time. We just wanna try to limit the, the fallout from that.